hey everyone welcome back in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to solve this problem in adobe premiere pro when you exported a video and you find that it's a tiny 24 byte file with no video playback no sound at all so well in this case i'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix this problem so let's get started so here's the problem after exporting a one or two hour long video the result file is only 24 byte and when you try to play it there's no video and no audio at all this issue often occurs with the long video and it is usually related to the available storage on your drive as you guys can see the file size is large and if your storage drive is running low on space it can lead into this problem even if you have 11 gig of free space the issue may persist so what can we do to fix it firstly make sure your storage drive has enough free space if your local drive is almost full then consider freeing up space by deleting unnecessary file however if you're still encountering this issue then it's time to choose a different drive with more available space so in my case i will choose this drive local disk c instead of l now let's render the video and see if the issue is fixed or not choosing a drive with more free space should help resolve the problem 2000 years later There you have it as you guys can see by selecting a drive with free space the export is successful and we no longer face the 24 byte file issue problem solved. But what if you are still facing the issue another option is to reduce the bitrate. If your drive is full even with a large file size lowering the bitrate can help. Keep in mind that this may affect the video quality but it's a bitrate of over getting the export to work. Let's give it a shot by reducing the bitrate. We may overcome the storage limitation and still get a working export. Let's see if this trick works. And there you have it. By reducing the bitrate, we managed to solve the problem and so well. Hey everyone, uh, welcome. So you have two options to choose from based on your situation. I hope this tutorial was helpful in addressing this Adobe Premiere Pro exporting issue. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.